we're gonna show you the box squat. It's probably one of the most used tools in our gym for teaching the squat. Uh, the box we've built here has three different sizes, depending on how you turn it. 12, 14, and us little guys need the 12 inch for the size of our femurs and to get depth in our squat for powerlifting. All right, go ahead and set up. So Ben's setting up to this box like you would in a regular squat. He's using his uh, sumo squat position. Uh, he's gonna flex his spine, keep that spine flexed as he goes through the motion. He's gonna trust, trust his hips back because we have a box to sit on. What we're doing is we're practicing uh, the range of motion in our squat, how to load the glutes, how to power out of the ball of our foot, um, and how to stay tight, keep the torso still throughout the motion. Awesome. Go ahead and step up to the bar. We'll scoot that box in. And we're going to try it with the bar this time. Go ahead. I'll set your box up. All right. Ben's a low bar squatter. Yet again, So he's got his scapula retracted, his spine flexed, he's loaded his glutes. He knows the box is here now, so he's going to trust it. He's going to really ride back, drive straight out. Awesome. So you, you want to touch the box, but you're still staying tight. You're not unloading, so you're still tight. So if I was to pull that box at any point in time, he'd be able to stand right up. He's not falling all the way back. Now in practicing, if you do fall back, that's why the box is here, you're learning how to load that 80-20 uh, weight on your foot and drive out through the ball of your foot, thrusting your hips forward through the motion. Let's do two more, Ben. So off the box, first motion is driving hips through. Good. Awesome. One more. Driving hips through, right off the balls of his foot. Great. That's it. Three rack. Awesome. So that's the box squat. We love this tool. Practice it. 